Well, hello. I'm so glad you came by today. And I just have to tell you about a book that I illustrated. It's called Summa the Elephant. And you would think by looking at this little book that it's a story for children. But actually, even though it can be read to children, it's a metaphor for adults. And Summa is all about this elephant that was kidnapped by a band of monkeys. And they wanted to have this little baby elephant as a pet. And they tied her with a string, just with a string, tied her up. And every time she wanted to walk away, they would drop coconuts on her head. Oh, anyway, Summa grew to be big and beautiful, and she thought she was a pet elephant. And one day this band of elephants comes roaming by, and they say, hi, Summa, come and play with us. And she said, oh, no, I can't. I'm just a pet elephant. They said, no, you can. She says, no, I can't. Anyway, the short of it is that Summa stayed being tied up by this little string. And the metaphor for us is that there are things that we think are tying us uh, to doing things that we would like to do in life. And actually, we are free. We really can be free. We really can do the things that would give us joy and the things that we're called to do, the things that are lined up with our purpose. If we realize that, hey, why don't I just go do it? There isn't anything uh, holding me back. It's just a little strength. So when the author, Gary Shute, first came to me, I usually I say yes to everything. For some reason, I said no to this project. And then about a year went by, and he contacted me again. He said, oh, Nan, you have to do it. He said, I had an artist illustrate the book, but they did it uh, literally. So you had pictures of monkeys, and you had pictures of elephants, and it just isn't working. He said, I want you to do things that convey the spirit of the book. And so Gary selected uh, my artwork. And here you see little butterflies. And um, that says her happy parents stood over her and talked about how she would grow to be big and strong. I have to tell you, every time I read this book, I cry. Even though <laughs> I know the book, I know what happened, but I just cry. Actually, the question at the end is, will Summa finally be free? And so. Uh, this is a sunflower, sort of a sad sunflower. The next morning when the monkeys woke up, they found Suma trying and crying for her parents and tugging at the string. They became alarmed because they knew that even a small baby elephant could break the string if she tried hard enough. So, and that's the illustration that was chosen. By the way, this book won the Benjamin Franklin Award, which is a very prestigious book award, and it won for the illustration, so I'm really proud of that. And so here we just have some marsh grasses. Here we have some ladybugs, and um, here we have a butterfly, and the text says, this is one of the elephants speaking to Suma. We go to the meadows, they told her. The grass there is long and green. There are blue lakes in the meadows. We run and swim and play. It is very beautiful. And so you can see just from this little bit how meaningful this book is. I think it's the kind of book, remember years ago, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, this is the kind of book that can change lives. It's a lovely story. You can go to Amazon.com. If you have any further questions about it, just contact me, Nan Ray, nanray at nanray.com. Okay, thank you so much for stopping.